hello everyone welcome to this week's channel my name is lisa gado and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back and thank you so much for coming back into my space if you are a new watcher follower subscriber welcome to my space don't forget to click that subscribe button i will really really appreciate so typically this channel is about fashion and style and in this week's video we're going to have something very interesting because i haven't done anything like this before where it's not just like a one topic thing so you're going to see a whole lot of varied outfits as different from each other as you can possibly get i asked you guys yesterday on my instagram stories to play a game with me called what would lisa wear and basically what you're supposed to do send me like an occasion and i will put together an outfit for it so that is what we're doing on this week's video and i hope you guys really enjoy this video don't forget to like share and subscribe and yeah let's get into it so the first outfit we're going to be sharing is this polka dot dress i know polka dot has had a moment it has had its moment and especially for if you and especially if you buy clothes you know we were seeing polka dot pieces everywhere so it's really the only one that i kept for myself i sold everything else i just love that it has the sort of like a three quarter sleeve with elastic at the band i love how simple it is without being it's simple it's midi the polka dot doesn't have it looking too busy and i think this is actually something that i would definitely wear to a date on an evening out with you know a potential partner because i think i'd feel classy but i still look really really appealing i think is the word that i'm looking for and yeah this is definitely a hit for me and i've paired it with this green bag because i think it adds a nice pop of color and initially i wanted to pair it with a red bag and you know red heels and all of that but i was like nah i think that is too much of a safe way to go about it you know black and white with red we always do that i always do that so i paired it with this emerald green bag that i thrifted i also paired it with this sort of um jeweled earrings just to add a pop of color but it also has a bit of green in it so it ties in the bag so it ties in with the bag which i think neat it's different it's not just your basic gold hoop which i love but sometimes i just want something more feminine if you get what i mean let me know what you guys think about this outfit the next look i have for you guys is this emerald green dress so lots of people actually asked for you know like wedding outfits and all of that stuff so what i did is i actually did two looks for you guys so we have this emerald green dress which i absolutely adore i love the high neck and i love how long the ties are i paired it with statement earrings of course and a gold clutch and then i just kept it very very simple with the shoes and i also gave an option of wear sometimes i want to cinch in my waist so i added in this um so i added in this leopard print belt which i think goes beautifully with the emerald green and uh, mwah, it is just mwah, if you ask me the next wedding outfit i have which is something that i would typically go for as well because i am more on the flashy side you know i don't like just being overly simple for whatever i'm going for so i have this list fitted gown that i would definitely wear to our wedding i know it is black but just because of the cutout of the decotelage area the chest area the lace it has a very elegant feel to it and i think it actually is perfect for a wedding you know just go really big with the statement pieces the jewelry you know your clutch and what have you but i kept it really simple still with statement earrings just a nice gold clutch and it was stunning for me i'm actually surprised this dress fits because i've had it for years now and i haven't worn it i think for about four years so that was a pleasant surprise the next request was for a rura show and oh my gosh i haven't been to one since my sisters were getting married and obviously i wore the kikuyu traditional garb and as i guess i would not wear that so obviously because it's a rura show we tend to lean more towards and Kara pieces, African print pieces, 
African print pieces. I went for this striped blue and white Ankara outfit. I think it's out of the box. It's not your typical mermaid skirt or mermaid dress or pencil skirt or uh, what else do I see a lot of? Um, you know, it's just not your typical fitted Ankara outfit. And I really, really like this because it's very versatile. You can wear the top on its own, you can wear the pants on its own. Though I might not be able to wear them for much longer because <laughs> they're looking a little bit snug along the thighs, which is fine. Because I also have, has, I also haven't worn them for a very, 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 a very long time. I think it's been about two years since I put these pants on, and um, yeah, I'm just glad they could zip up. To be very honest with you. So I pair them together, it zips up at the front, of course it has the peplum waistline which cinches in the waist and gives you a really really nice shape. I had this made in Nigeria um, some years ago and it has, the fabric was good. Nigerian Ankara is a really 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 good because again there's grades. So if you get Ankara that is not going to last you a really long time or Ankara that the color washes, then I don't think it's worth the money. You know, I've had this for long. I've worn it and worn it and worn it separately together. No, not really together, but I've worn it separately quite a lot. And it's still as vibrant as when I first got it made. So definitely a thumbs up. The next request was for an interview sort of outfit. So what I did was I paired obviously my staple straight leg black pants, paired it with this leather belt and an emerald green sort of camisole just for a pop of color and then I also came in with a cropped blazer just to veer a little bit away from the you know regular sort of blazer just to add interest to the look I think this is something that is a very very professional looking I think whoever is interviewing you will actually be like wow she looks really nice and especially if you're interviewing for something where it's more on the artistic side where you need a lot of creativity for me, obviously, it would be fashion or style based. I would definitely wear this because it's out of the box. It's not your typical safe sort of outfit. So I really, really love this. Obviously, the earrings are understated because, again, it is work related. But then it's also a pop of color because it has the emerald green, which is also tying in with the top. Obviously, I wore a low pair of jewels because, again, business meeting, not social gathering and i think it looks really really nice together and yeah this is definitely something that i would wear to a business meeting or to work in general if i worked in an office i would be that girl that is always dressed to the nines i'm telling you like sometimes i feel like i would have an office job just for the outfits because i love putting together corporate looks and a lot of my clients have actually been from that sector where they want a lot of corporate looks and i've been able to put a lot of amazing pieces together that they can also wear for play because again it's all about having pieces that you can use for very very many different purposes and because it's thrifted it's also very good for the environment which is a plus. The last request that I went for was sort of like a meeting. So I paired this um, wrap dress, it's black and white, um, but it's a very fun work dress. It's corporate, but it has some fun details like the frilly collar. It's actually, um, I think, DVF, Diane von Fustenberg. Diane von Fustenberg, it's DVF. Okay, it's DVF, and um, I think it's just a beautiful wrap dress. It's simple. I love the length, which is midi. Actually, a lot of my dresses tend to hit me right about, at right about the calf level because I think it's just very elegant and. Um, Again, also it elongates my legs because I do have sort of like stumpy legs. Um, yeah, and I threw a black blazer over it, paired it with heels, and just kept it very simple. Business casual. I would call this business casual actually because you know, you take off the jacket and it's more fun and whatever. Put all the jacket over your shoulders and it's more young, like, yeah, this is a corporate girl. Classy, stylish corporate girl. So I really, really, really love this outfit. I would definitely wear this for an official meeting. You know, something serious but not so serious. Something that is work related but not really yeah i love this outfit i love being comfortable i love just 
feeling free so you'll always see me in dresses quite a bit just because I like a movement I like the whole flirty feel that it sort of gives my outfit and um, yeah so that is it for this video and I hope you guys really love everything that I put together thank you so much for always tuning in I really really appreciate it the few of you that take your time to comment and like the video I really really appreciate you guys I am gonna have a prize thing soon and one of my lucky followers will be able to win a full outfit from me and Lisa Gather clothing thank you so much and I will see you in the next video